All right, so I'm here checking out these mushrooms. My sister alerted me to at her school. She's a teacher. And I'm not 100% sure yet what they are. But what we're gonna do is take a few of them home and take a spore print. I, I have a feeling that these are the green spore lepiatus, which are a poisonous mushroom. Don't eat them. But there's just a chance that may be something else. But a spore print will tell us that. You'll see if they are what I think they are. You'll see the definite green spores when we take a moment and do that. So let's go give it a shot. Here's really young one kind of been trampled a little bit here's another one that was kicked up still closed on the bottom let me go ahead and pick one let's see what the bottom looks like you know what I can almost say for sure it's gonna be the green sport lipiata just because I see the I think I see the gills starting to take on that greenish hue which gets really really pronounced as they really start to drop their spores so almost certain that's what they are but let's go find out all right for those who don't know about taking a spore print I'm gonna show you how to do that so I can really tell that those gills are starting to turn green which solidifies my opinion that these are going to be the green spore lepiatus so the spore print will be really green uh, first I'm gonna break break a few of these stems off. Well, I maybe should have showed you this before I cut the stems off, but these all had the the ring around the stem. Some of these I cut off above the ring, some below. You can see this ring, it's actually will move and pull right off. This starts as a veil that covers covers the gills when the mushrooms are young. But as they open up, that's, that will separate right there and leave that ring on the stem. Now some edible mushrooms have rings on the stem and some poisonous ones have rings on the stem. So that is not a way to positively identify a mushroom. It's just one of the indicators. So uh, you see I cut them all off enough so that these can lay flat. So what I'm going to do is put a few of them on some sheets of paper and a few of them I'll just leave right here on the on the table. Uh, the green spores may not show up very well on the on the table but if they happen to be white spore mushrooms they wouldn't show up very well on the paper so it's good to kind of do both. Sometimes I'll use a, a white and a black piece of construction paper and something that's good to do is kind of cover them up with something that will trap the moisture in and cause them to drop their spores more quickly. Let's see if I can get two of these under one. Yeah. I'll just do one there. Those I'll just leave. These I brought home just in case, but they're they're still closed, so it's tough to take a spore print from mushroom that's still closed could cut that open but they won't be as ready to drop their spores as these big open ones will. So I'm gonna leave those for just a little while. I'll let you know how long it's been when we come back to check them and we'll see what we got. Okay well it's been about an hour and a half and these mushrooms were pretty dried out when I picked them so they're, they're a lot moister now. I don't know if you can tell, I can definitely see green spores on there. And the gills are looking a little greener. So I know without a doubt that these are the green spore lipiatas, but what I'm going to do is probably just leave these overnight because we don't have a whole lot of daylight left. Um, I don't think it's supposed to rain tonight, so we'll just, we'll just leave them sit overnight and see what they look like in the morning. Alright, here's the next morning. See what we got. You can see them showing up there a little bit. Definitely see the greenness of the gills. See what the ones under here look like. Oh man, that didn't didn't drop on the paper very well, but 
There you can see it. Green spores. So those are the green spore lepiata. Poisonous mushroom. Do not want to eat that one. The other two that I thought was possible, there's one called the red staining or the reddening lepiata that has white spores, um, but it stains red when you cut it open. And there's also the uh, parasol mushroom, which has white spores. Both of those are good edibles. This one will make you sick. So, that's an important identifier with a lot of mushrooms. Is get a spore print and see what the spores look like. Thanks for watching.